Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and could this be the end of one of the most important justices on the Supreme Court? Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. What a coincidence that a story broke about a flag being flown outside of Justice, conservative Justice Samuel Alito's house that said, stop the steal, and another of an upside-down American flag. Now, Justice Alito said that Mrs. Alito was responsible for them, and he had nothing to do with it. But what a coincidence that it should come out now, maybe a month before the Supreme Court rules on Trump and his immunity case. What a coincidence, folks. At least the media wants you to believe that's a coincidence. And now they're saying Congress might have to take action. And that means impeachment of the justice. I want you to watch this from these left-wingers who are going absolutely insane on MSNBC, clutching their pearls, and then let me know what you think. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Correct. Famous That's what said, yeah. don't ask us to do it the court. Right. I mean, you can do it the ballot box next year. And and I think it's, you know, the, we're at the end now of 25 years where uh, with, with Bush v. Gore and people were stunned that to see this, see this court appearing to act in such a nakedly partisan way. And it has been 25 years of erosion and, and erosion on the basis of this predict these predictable outcomes on the basis of who you were appointed by. I think, you know, all of these displays, the Ginny Thomas case, the go to the Federalist Society, the hanging of the flag upside down, it, it, you might yeah. be able to, in some world, dismiss all of it as symbolic outside the court action. If it weren't for the fact, the thing you just said, which is the most crucial thing, there is nothing more important than the notion that a president who has been indicted for having been a, part, been a participant in and having led an insurrection against the United States government, that that case be heard right. before this election so that the president, former president, Donald Trump, would have the legal and political accountability so voters would know whether this man was a guilty of having committed a crime of that nature. And there is no conceivable world in which we are really going to say that, whether you're conservative or liberal, that the president of the United States is beyond the reach of the law, is immune from uh, any prosecution for anything he does when he's in office. And yet, the U.S. Supreme Court, in a wholly pre predictable and partisan way, decided to basically say, as you said, slow walk, I would say, an outrageous decision not to take, to seriously just pass on this case. Yeah. The, given what the appeals court had done, no there was only the one right answer, which was, there is no issue here. There is no issue here other than the partisan issue. And now they are going to almost certainly guarantee that we will not have a verdict in that case before voters go to the polls Seven. in November. It's a shocking, substantive act. Not a symbolic thing. I mean, I'm not downplaying the hanging of the flag upside down. It's That's the leading indicator. That's the, what's reflective of is this total casting aside of any attempt or pretense of being nonpartisan. It is just we are doing what our, Seven, in this case, thought. conservative yeah. ideology tells us to do, and we're working for Donald Trump. Yeah. And it's really a moment of reckoning for the Chief Justice, because yeah. it is an unaccountable institution appointed for life, but the Chief Justice has an opportunity. He has an obligation to take action. Congress has an obligation to take action. There are remedies like a code of conduct and inspector general that can be imposed here, but it is really up to the Chief Justice most immediately to act. So, so